Hi guys, so today I'll be showing you how you can install MySQL on your Mac OS. It's a short and simple way. So first thing you want to do is uh, go to the MySQL site. I've included in the description. Uh, when you reach the download page, uh, you want to go all the way down to the community edition. Click on that. Then uh, go to community server, should be on right on the top. Download that. Now make sure that you've selected Mac OS and you want to download the DMG archive, which should be the first one. So it should ask you to log in or sign up, but uh, don't worry about that. Just hit no thanks. It should download for you. I've already downloaded it. Uh, let me show you. Here it is, the DMG file. You want to double click on that. And it should skip that. Should open installation file. And there we go. So now you want to click on the installation file and it should open up the installer. There you go. Click on continue. Hit continue again. Continue. Agree. If you want to install SQL on more than one user and click on this option. Uh, sorry for Mango still is slow, it's pretty old. So I only have one user, so I'm gonna select the first option. But if you want to install it more than one, then you can click on any of the other two. So anyways, just hit continue. Install. And um, it should ask for your login password. The one for your user, so I just enter that. And it should start installing. This takes a few minutes, so I'll see you on the other side. So when it asks for your password, select the first option. And you want to enter a strong password, you know, with characters uh, and numbers and all that. Uh, yeah, so that doesn't add up. Wait a minute. Um, how about this? Yeah, this should work. Okay. So let's let that enter your password again. Yeah, so now that it's done, hit finish. You can move to the trash if you want, the installer. What you want to do next is create a text file that holds our password and the destination for our MySQL folder. So open up text edit using Spotlight. You can include your password for the SQL server in case you forget it. And you want to paste a destination for your SQL folder. I'll include that in the description. So this text file itself does not need to be used anywhere, but this destination, this is important. So I'm using it, I'm pasting it in this text file. So, so that's handy whenever we need to open SQL. So copy this destination and save the file. I want to save it on my desktop. And it's not showing up uh, anyways you want to open up terminal now and you want to paste the destination which we just pasted into the text file just paste it over here hit enter and it should ask for a password now enter the password you set up for your SQL server during installation and there you go SQL should show up and try out some of the commands. So, if you're planning on using the terminal only for your SQL command line, then there's actually a shortcut for that. You want to open up preferences and you want to select this option and paste in the destination we just used. So, now whenever you'll open a terminal window, a new terminal window. It'll show up straight from SQL. So enter your password again. And see, SQL is directly opening up. 
so that's about it i hope the video helped you guys please hit the subscribe button and help me a lot thanks